Okay, the Roland SH-1000. Um, this was Roland's first synthesizer in 1973 or 1974. It's a, an analog synthesizer with an interesting oscillator. It actually uses an LM3216 or LM3218, I forget which, which was a common chip used in organs uh, for divide-down technology. And what divide-down technology means is a high frequency would be run into that chip and then various footages would be coming out of that chip. And the way that SH-1000 used it is you can set various footages for different types of waveforms. And the wave shape is actually created by running the various signals into resistor networks that would shape the waveform, the multiple phases of pulse waves and square waves into various waveforms. And so I'm going to focus on the sawtooth here. And the sawtooths are 32 foot, 8 foot, and 4 foot. And depending upon the setting and the divide down oscillator, basically you can end up with uh, some very different types of waveforms, even for the same note at different footages. So we'll look at these on the scope. And so here we'll adjust that. And so this is the same note, an F on the keyboard, and I'm going to move it up the, the octaves as I shift down the, uh, the footage settings. So this is a four foot sawtooth, and I'm going to use an F. It looks like that. You can see it's a very stepped waveform. So not a lot of resolution to that waveform. So now if I play the same frequency, the same note, at an eight foot sawtooth setting, same F, resolution to my waveform and you can see there's more steps going on there. So it could contribute to a timbre difference. And then finally if I go to a 32 foot sawtooth at the same frequency, you see a lot more resolution because a lot more phases contribute to the shape of that waveform. So again, 32 foot sawtooth, 8 foot sawtooth, and 4 foot sawtooth. So just an interesting fact about the Roland SH-1000's oscillator.